Because safety has been such a big concern at the start of the new school year, some parents are getting creative. Ugochi Iloka introduces us to two parents with two very different ideas about making children and their classrooms safer. No parent should ever have to worry about bullets flying in their child's classroom. I have two little ones coming up through the school system as well, and these things happen so quickly. I would definitely encourage um, parent groups to come together and start fundraising after they identified all of their school's needs. Both parents concerned about Uvalde having a repeat in other schools. This latest shooting in Uvalde was sort of the last straw for me as a parent. That's why Hardwire LLC CEO George Tunis and Data4 supplied 258 schools in the eastern shore of Maryland with his assault rifle bulletproof armor shields. This shield would hang up on the wall and it can be grabbed, turned on a shooter, and if you look, that top grouping is a full clip from an AR. If you have to fight, he says, you need the right tool and training. The shields need to be in the building, People need to be understand that they're there just like a fire extinguisher. Using the shield to hold off an active shooter until help comes. For me, would make me feel better as a parent that we take individual school assessments and assess their safety, which will in turn help the officers, resource officers, anybody that would respond to any um, events. Humble mom of three. Natalie Carter shares while she applauds companies like Hardwire for offering not only bulletproof shields, but backpack inserts and clipboards, she finds it a bit overwhelming. I want to still try to normalize my child's school experience by not necessarily putting ballistics in their backpacks or ballistic shields. However, Tunis wants to expand his reach to Texas schools, citing the shield can be used to keep a threat away. Bad guys don't attack hardened targets, so armor can be as much of a deterrent. We don't have to be on the sidelines. Um, you know, afraid, waiting for something to happen when we have the strength within us to actually effectuate change. Change for her means exploring programs that secure school building parameters. With our surplus in our government, it wouldn't be a bad thing if uh, Governor Abbott would consider possibly um, giving the school districts a little bit more funding with regards to helping fund these initiatives. And more community involvement to apply pressure. I really would want to encourage everybody to consider the value of their vote. Two parents with different ideas, both wanting to keep our schools free from another Uvalde tragedy. Ugochi Iloka, KHU 11 News. And we have all this information and more resources for parents on KHOU.com. Or you can text SCHOOLS to 713-526-1111. We'll send back a message with some helpful links.